Hello there. Welcome to Modern World Dynamics, the channel where we explore the intriguing intricacies of the world we live in. Today, we're setting sail on a voyage of discovery, navigating the complex waters of our modern society. Our compass points us towards an intriguing topic, high value versus low value men. But what does that mean exactly? Well, in the coming minutes, we'll be unraveling the mystery behind these terms, using storytelling, real life examples, and yes, even a smattering of humor. We'll delve deep into the heart of the contrasts, the characteristics that set these two categories apart. But remember, this isn't about passing judgment or making sweeping generalizations. It's about understanding the nuances, the subtle differences that can make a world of difference in our interactions. So grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's dive into this fascinating discussion. Before we delve deeper, it's crucial we understand what we mean by high value and low value men. So let's explore these terms, shall we? When we talk about a high value man, we're referring to an individual who is not only successful in his professional life, but is also emotionally mature, respectful and responsible. He is someone who isn't afraid to show vulnerability, yet can stand his ground when necessary. Picture Mr. Knightley from Jane Austen's Emma, if you will. He is a man of integrity, a man who knows his worth and doesn't need to assert it aggressively. He's the kind of person who uplifts others, encourages growth and fosters positivity. Now let's flip the coin. A low value man, on the other hand, is someone who may lack emotional maturity or respect for others. He might be the person who's quick to anger, slow to apologize and often plays the victim. Think of the infamous Mr. Wickham from Pride and Prejudice. He's the one who often takes more than he gives, who undermines others to feel superior and who generally leaves a trail of negativity in his wake. Now, remember folks, these are broad brush strokes. People are complex and everyone has the capacity to change and grow. But these definitions give us a starting point, a baseline to understand the dynamics we're discussing. Perhaps you're thinking of people you know who fit these descriptions. Maybe you've seen these traits in action, or you've experienced them firsthand. Perhaps you're even reflecting on your own behavior. Whatever the case, it's important to remember that recognizing these patterns is the first step towards understanding and change. Now that we have our definitions clear, let's explore the contrast between these two types of individuals. It's a fascinating journey, and I promise you, it's one worth taking. High value and low value men can seem similar on the surface, but if we scratch deeper, the contrasts are stark. Let's paint a picture. Imagine two men, we'll call them Sam and Joe. Sam is a high value man, while Joe unfortunately falls into the low value category. Both men are in relationships, but the way they handle them is vastly different. Sam, our high value man, is always present, both physically and mentally. He listens to his partner, values her opinions and shows a keen interest in her life. He understands the importance of balance in a relationship and isn't afraid to show vulnerability. Sam is also ambitious, striving to improve himself and his life constantly. He has a clear vision for his future and works tirelessly to achieve his goals. On the other hand, we have Joe. Joe often dismisses his partner's feelings and opinions, choosing to prioritize his own. He struggles with the concept of vulnerability viewing it as a sign of weakness rather than strength. Joe's ambition is lackluster at best. He is content with mediocrity and lacks the drive to push for more. He has no clear vision for his future and tends to live in the moment, often at the expense of his long-term goals. Now, let's look at how Sam and Joe handle conflict. Sam sees it as an opportunity to grow and learn. He approaches disagreements with a level head, aiming to find a solution that benefits both parties. Joe, on the contrary, views conflict as a battle to be won. He often resorts to blame and criticism, losing sight of the bigger picture. In their social circles, Sam is known for his respect and kindness towards others, irrespective of their status. He values the quality of his relationships over quantity. Joe, unfortunately, tends to judge people based on their social status and is more interested in the number of friends he has, rather than the depth of those relationships. Remember, these contrasts aren't set in stone. They're observations, and they can vary from person to person. Halfway through the video, let's take a moment to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Now we've talked about high value and low value men, but here's the kicker. It's not set in stone. You're not born one or the other. 
you have the power to choose your values and behaviors. It's like going to a restaurant. You're handed a menu and you decide what you want to eat. In life, your menu is filled with different traits, behaviors, and attitudes. You decide what to pick. Want to be respectful, ambitious, and confident? Go for it. Prefer to be complacent, disrespectful, and arrogant? Well, that's your choice. But remember, just like your meal choices can lead to an upset stomach or a satisfied palate, your choices in life can lead to being a high or low value man. So the question isn't, are you a high or low value man? But rather, what kind of man do you choose to be? Now, we're curious to hear from you. Isn't it fascinating how diverse our experiences can be, yet how we can find common threads that bind us together? One of the most empowering aspects of this platform is the ability to share our thoughts and experiences, creating a vibrant community of learners. We all have stories to tell, insights to offer, and wisdom to share. So, we encourage you to drop a comment below, sharing your perspectives on high and low value men. Do you agree with what we've discussed today? Or perhaps you have a different viewpoint? Regardless, we're all here to learn from each other. As we move through life, our stories become our teachers. They provide us with insights, lessons, and sometimes, they even offer us a new direction. Your comments, your experiences, your stories, they matter. They might just be the spark that ignites a change in someone else's life. So don't hold back. Share your thoughts, your experiences, your wisdom. Remember, every comment counts and every story matters. And speaking of stories, how about adding a new chapter to yours? If you've ever wondered how to take control of your life, ditch the 9 to 5 grind and become a full-time creator, we've got just the thing for you. We're talking about our YouTube AI Masterclass. This course is not just about growing your channel from zero to over 100,000 subscribers or generating a passive income with just three days of work a month. It's about empowering you to create, to innovate, and to make your mark on the world. In this masterclass, we'll show you how to harness the power of artificial intelligence for content creation, and how to be one of the first to use this revolutionary technology to your advantage. So, if you're ready to step into the future, the link is in the description below. Remember, your story could be the key to helping someone else. So don't hesitate to share in the comments and don't forget to check out our YouTube AI Masterclass. Until next time, this is Modern World Dynamics signing off.